Hello. I think Tesla are heading for a bit of a problem opening up the 15 UK superchargers to all EVs. I don't have an issue with all EVs using Tesla superchargers. I think it's a great idea. And the ones that they've chosen, the superchargers for all EVs, I've been to a few and they are pretty quiet. Um, with barely one or two, sometimes no one in them. So that's not an issue. The issue is many EVs, the charge point is in a different place to the Tesla. And as everyone knows, when you go into the supercharger, if you don't back in far enough, it just doesn't reach. It is just far enough. I used to think there was just perhaps one or maybe two EVs that were different, but I think it turns out there's a lot, lot more. Um, I knew the Porsche Taycan was in the wrong place and they could be taking up two spots. The BMW apparently takes up two spots. I think the MG could well take up two spots. So the issue is going to be that when they get busy and the Teslas are waiting and other people are waiting that maybe where the car port is in the right place and someone's taking up two spots, they're not going to be happy. So what can be done about this? Well, there are a number of things. One is you could actually put additional parking bay on the end. Uh, but of course, there, obviously there's going to be a contract. There must be a contract with wherever the Tesla supercharger is with the amount of space that they have. And so they would have to then negotiate additional space. Um, when they're putting in new superchargers, if they have an eye on opening up to everyone, also they're going to have to have a longer lead. But the trouble with that is that if you think about it, the, the Tesla superchargers are very nice and neat. It loops down, it's very thick. You go to the others, and many of the others are just a mess and the leads are just lying around. So they need a good design. Now, whether you could have something extending that actually comes out, but they are very thick. That's not an easy thing to do. Currently, I think it looks extremely neat. The people are like neatness to see Tesla cars all charging up, reversing in. It does look very neat now, um, but that's not the issue. The issue is that they're going to have to figure this one out. And I think the solution will be when they build new ones, because I don't think it's going to be easy to suddenly tack one either end so you can park. But it is a problem of a car taking up two spaces. It would be like jumping the queue. In some countries, people do that don't do it here do you in the UK and taking up two spaces when it's busy would be problematic and it's something Tesla will need to sort out now they've always managed to sort so many much bigger problems than this out and I'm sure they've got people working on it as we speak I'm sure they have and I'm looking forward to see the solution it'll probably be quite genius and of course they're working on uh, cars that uh, and buses that actually contactless charging the same way as you have with your phone when you, you, you charge it in the centre console. Uh, the bus pulls up, uh, the vehicle pulls up and it's charged underneath. That That's going to be the long term solution, isn't it? But uh, I'll be interested to see what Tesla come up with. And uh, if you've got any suggestions, please leave them below how this is going to be resolved i don't think there are any of these in the usa it's been tested in europe i think it's because the wider use of the ccs charger please tell me if i'm wrong um we haven't had it long in the uk it's only a few weeks now interesting to hear your views i mean i love the tesla i love driving the tesla i think it's a fantastic car prices are quite high and they're going to be quite high if you haven't got a tesla was it? It's uh, it's not cheap anymore. Fifty eight pence, sixty over sixty. Uh, if you haven't got a Tesla, and of course the majority of people will charge at home, or charge when there's a slower charge when you're at work or shopping. Uh, obviously, you're paying a premium price at the supercharger because you're putting in a lot of electricity in a short time. The time it takes to go to the bathroom and get a coffee, maybe even something to eat. But as happened to Jennifer and I earlier this year, uh, we didn't have time to eat our meal. meal. I had to then go out and move the car. So the problem was the charger was too fast. Outrageous. But that's where we are. So 
you see a lot of YouTubers using the uh, single-use paper cups and it's easier to recycle a plastic bottle and it is one of those paper cups because there's a very thin lining inside and barely five percent are recycled now you may go in coffee shops and they they have a recycle bin and everyone puts them in there and think isn't it wonderful but they're not being recycled you know so one of these you can use a thousand times made of metal you get money off some places so there you go and any meetings any filming in tesla they're always using reusable you know and marcus brownlee and lots of places so please youtubers start using these really good thank you so much thank you and then you can tell me what to do oh well got to get off now and uh, see the grandchildren who want to do a review on the uh, tesla model 3 and they're eight so they'll probably have two million viewers in two weeks time anyway take care bye for now